you are now about to witness the awesome uh, a crushing uh, my help of the young Robbie Sean and Guy he's a little job. They copy my shit he keep trying these on the fat. So we do the big fat. Stop it! Welcome my friends to a show that's streaming you never thought of end. This is version 301 of the DGS Robinson Show Stopper. I'm your host, DGS Robinson. Super Bowl Sunday. Sunday. I think I cracked my tooth on work. A big note. Ah! Huh? Super Bowl Sunday. Used to be January 26, 9 11, and COVID pushed it back. It is now Valentine's Week. Let me tell you something about that as soon as the show gets started. But first, let's have Bob Riley sing us in like he has every year. Which is 2007. Intro Hall of Nothing is signed. Still available. Revelation Records. On the beach, California. The record is falling in the dust. On the beach, where they get you all hit the ball with a hammer. It's shooting the death in a nightclub. And they run your mayor, put them out of town on a rail, so they can open up with some tenant restaurant in uh, in uh, Western Florida. Listen, listen well. I'm on my way back to nowhere. We have to my fan to a show that seemingly never ends. Got a tight schedule today. Going to a play with the kid, getting the kid some culture. Yeah, Saturday she does jujitsu with me. Then she went over and did some uh, some aerial stuff with uh, with the mom, you know, the, the hoops and the pole and the and uh, the trapeze and the silks and nah. And then we went to see Peter and the Wolf, during which I fell asleep. That music starts playing. Yeah, I was gone. And now it's another play. Expose the kid to culture. Keep the kid away from the TV. That's the plan. So this show will be uh, uh, I'm supposed to show start at uh, 12, 15, 15 minutes late. I might end the show 15 minutes early, but you're here. Let's get up. Get caught up. If you read the, the sub stack, you know it's about prostitution. You know, there, this is a, a language concession that I've made because I got a lot of friends who are sex workers. So we had to go through that. You know, like prostitute has kind of a pejorative deal, feel, deal, feel, you know, hooker. Nah, it's a smell. It was named after a guy, right? Hooker, hoe, whore. These all have pejorative. So I got, I've had to make a concession. <laughs> yeah, I had to make a concession. I was like, okay. Um, I mean, you know, first of all, Ladies aren't the only ones out there who have received money for sex acts. Maybe you might know somebody. But the point is, I think sex worker is truthful. Because guys who like strip clubs or like going to house of probably sometimes forget that it's work. It is work. Now, I know how it's easy to forget. Because some people really enjoy their jobs. You know? They really enjoy their work. 
And it seems like in that moment, it might be real what's transpiring, but what's always real will be like we sing in the Oxbow song. They say uh, some of the best things in life are free, but everything around here comes with a fee. Remember that. Start off talking about the other Eugene Robinson getting busted when he played with the Atlanta Falcons for soliciting a prostitute. This, you know, the guy's a Christian because he had never done this before. You don't have to go to taking it to the streets like Michael McDonald. You don't have to do that. You get an escort. Everybody knows you just go to erosguide.com. You know, in the old days, frugal Johns for those who didn't want to pay a lot of money. And you're on Craigslist and you get yourself. Everybody knows that. Sex work is fine. I got it. He's a guy's trolling the streets in a luxury automobile in wherever uh, wherever the Super Bowl was where he got popped. I don't know. The point is, uh, it's Super Bowl Sunday. I expect I don't even want I don't even want to run the risk that I watch the viewership drop in the game. At this point now, the game is in three and a half hours. You got no excuse not to listen to the show. So you're here. Good for you. We got short month, Black History Month, short month. Uh, let's try to get some subs on, uh, on the sub stack. I know most of you here watching now, watch it for free. You don't feel a need, but I got to pay for June. June doesn't fuck around. So, so make a $5 donation, something to put on your card, $10, something to get me over to 465. I got to pay her a month. I don't want to go in eating red to do the show, but whatever, whatever. It's only money. Can't take it with you. Try that. You know that guy who dies. I would take the. I would take it with me. You bury me with my money. And his family said, "Okay." And the guy dies, and his son steps up to the coffin and throws a check in. And it's funny, and not funny. Anyway. Thank you.